Are we live? We are live. <laughs> are we for sure? I believe so. It's telling us our people count, so I'm going to assume yes. There's zero. There's zero right now. No. That's no. okay. So, hey, I sure hope this works. I have no clue. But I'm Trish. I'm Courtney. And, you know, they say third time's a charm. This is like our second, so we'll give it a go. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Do you mind lowering that? Because I should have, and I didn't. So, hey out there. Um... People probably aren't tuning in because they're waiting for it to like get cut off. But that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tape this. We'll try to tape it. We felt so disappointed because we went through this whole demo on Friday. And then afterwards we looked and only a minute and like 27 seconds were saved. And I gotta tell you, I was so depressed. I didn't even bother going back and adding any. I didn't do anything. So um, since Friday, we've done a couple things. We invested in this little high-tech gizmo that hopefully is videoing, uh, taking us on video, right? And hopefully, if you're if you're tuning in, can you give us a thumbs up and leave a comment? Because usually we get comments that the stream is breaking up or it's pixelated or blurry. And boy, I would love it to know. I'd love to know that the investment we made actually was worthwhile. Yes. So again, I'm Trish. This is Courtney. And um, what we're going to be doing in this quick video, maybe not so quick, is uh, how to do a wash mm -hmm. using chalk paint. And what we mean by that is, do we want to just pull this out? Yeah, can, pull it out. can I hand it to you? Yeah. So um, this dresser was already painted in um, old white. That's the number one selling color. Um, of chalk paint by Annie Sloan that we that we have it, it outsells every other color it is the quintessential beautiful friendly almost in every type of decor situation and so we painted the um, dresser with a couple coats of old white and then we thought you know one of the best ways to separate your style from other people or to do a piece in your own home and make it look like you purchased it from I don't know, restoration hardware or pottery barn or you kind of bring it to another level is by applying a wash over the base color. And hopefully you can hear us okay and that doesn't pick up on our conversations that are happening, but we'll, we'll do our best. So um, so what were we going to do on this piece? We're doing a wash in? Old Violet. It's okay. Old Violet. Yep. Um, this is Old Violet and it's kind of like a coneflower blue. Um, Old Violet is one of my favorite colors. I love it with clear wax. I love it with brown or black wax also. I actually have this on a corner hutch in my kitchen, um, in my home. That gives you an idea how much I love this color. But hopefully, I'm going to let you maybe bring it in slowly. I'm going to watch and see if, um, I don't know if it can pick up on it as well. We're kind of closer. Oh, there we go. We just got to do it, do it slow. And hopefully you can see the nuances of the old violet and how it gets caught in the crevices of the decorative wood trim. And um, it just gives a very light veil of the color over the old white. So, okay, well that worked okay. And actually so far we're getting thumbs up and we got some really great comments. Awesome. Okay, so one of the things we were going to do on Friday was a giveaway. Um, so what's going to happen is when we are done at the conclusion of this video, we'll end it and we'll immediately go on, do a random thing, select the winner. Yeah. So we'd love for you to be the recipient. Do we want to uh, maybe just show them? Yeah. I don't want to move the Mevo. It might be easier Not if you just way. carefully. Yeah. So it's just a small little giveaway, but I have some really awesome giveaways coming up. So you're going to want to start tuning in. Um, so we're just going to send whoever's the winner this cute little tea towel. Just says love you more. We have some beautiful dried lavender, and this is actually from France. Yep. And then we're also going to be sending whoever wins a paint apron that says the purple painted lady on it. So hopefully, um, good luck. And um, I think what we should do now is go ahead and talk about a wash. Okay. And we already did the top in the video from Friday that didn't get saved, which really stunk. Yeah. So let's talk about, at a high level, when you go to do a wash, what that means in regards to the paint and whatever and then also we'll talk about how we approach this sure. and immediately get some paint on there so 
So when you make a wash, you want to make sure that you do 50% paint to water. So that's a one-to-one -one ratio. And that just thins out the paint enough where it leaves a veil, it doesn't cover uh, your base coat, um, and it's really easy to work with. Um, we typically recommend going in with a chip brush. You might want to talk a little louder just because I don't know how that Mevo is picking up on you. So. Okay. so we typically recommend going in with a chip brush, Perfect. which is a pretty inexpensive brush. It creates a nice feathered texture in the paint. Um, if you want it a bit heavier, heavier, you can go in with an Annie Sloan small paintbrush. Okay, so these are nice, like you said. Okay, and when we did the wash, you're saying the ratio is about a one to one. One to one. Water, chalk paint, it's a water base yep. with mixing it directly with water. Right. I see you put it in this cute little mason jar. Um, what works out great with this too is you can save the leftover. Absolutely. And yeah. as long as that lid's on tight, it's indefinite. Okay, so seriously, it's not going to dry out. It's not going to get all hard in there. Just make sure your lid's on there nice and tight. These are the cutest little jars, though. They are. They're a nice size. Yeah. So um, let's talk about this dresser. Sure. Um, it had a really nice detail that's a little bit, you know, obviously on the edge. And then it has this kick plate yeah. in the back. So um, maybe what we should do is have you apply the wash first, and then let's talk about how we would have we did the wash on here in the sense of what we would do first and why. Sure. But I'm going to grab the Mevo. Okay. Okay. Can you lift the drawer up or you want to leave it out? Um, I think I am going to move the Mevo around the ladder okay. and I'm going to bring it down and that way, I bet you there's a way to have this not be on such a wide angle, but we'll learn that the next time. We'll, we will. We'll play it. Right okay, there. so you have the wash. Now, what are some secrets? You always probably want to start on the edge, I guess, and then bring it across. Right, yeah. So when you work on a drawer or something like this, you're going to start at the edge and come all the way across, just like in painting. Um... I like to work in smaller sections, so for the top, I did split it up into about, I think, six or five, five to six inches wide um, to do the wash on, just so I had a little bit more control. But on this drawer, I'm just going to go ahead and do the entire thing. It's okay. a pretty... It's and a since pretty you're shorter. doing the drawer and it has sides and edges around the outer perimeter... I'll get the sides and edges as well. Okay, so you just... The most important thing about a wash, though, is that once you put it on, um, if you come back and try to do a touch-up, it sometimes actually lifts some of the previous wash yes. off. So I think you want to be strategic in how you're applying it yes. and make sure you catch it all on that first pass. You also, since it's thinner because you added the water to the paint, you want to be conscientious that you're not flicking it on, um, I guess, a neighbor, neighboring piece of furniture or your walls if you're working at home. You also have a lot more time to work with the wash, so don't be scared about timing because the water will increase the, the dry time for the paint. So it extends the open time. The right. most important thing though, Court, is, you know, we're in western New York. We have a pretty good amount of moisture in the air, humidity. I think yeah. it's reasonable. The temperature here is nothing to be wearing a bikini, but um, it is not going to be as dry here as it is in, let's say, Arizona or California. So your open time of once you put this on isn't going to be as long as ours. So right. keep that in mind. Okay. And please feel free to add questions. We'll actually write back answers to anyone's questions. Yep. And that way you'll be able to um, see a written response later. And you can even save videos once we upload this. You can save this. Oh, that looks great. Okay. Mm -hmm. So... So you just used some of the Scott shop towels, the lint-free rags? Yes. Okay, very cool. I think maybe what I'll do is I'm going to walk around the back of the ladder and come over, and then we'll have you do the side of that dresser. You don't even have to hold anything cool. um, if you just want to slide it this way. And that way we can show them the side, and maybe even, you know, we could... Um, do the detail with them? Yeah, so we can see how awesome that gets caught. So pardon the fact that I have a ladder as a prop. We're going to bring this around. So talk about, see how this wash, is this from you or is that from the That's other day? That's from the other day. Will that come off if you had water? And it might. Don't, don't worry about it if you don't. So, Okay. I can test it out a little bit later. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about the side of this. So um, obviously you want to catch the very top. Yep. And I'm not sure if you're going to do that top little edge first. I think I'm going to do the top edge first. Okay. Just so I can make sure it's done. 
And again, this is just showcasing how to do a wash. We mix the chalk paint with water, one to one. You could even thin it more if you wanted. This is a great technique if you were doing um, brick, a brick facade in yeah. front of your house or your fireplace. Yeah. You know, adding a little bit of a white wash over bricks that are maybe orange or um, are too red just to give it a fresh look and then you could come back and you could with maybe the paint straight, you could even touch up maybe some random bricks here mm -hmm. and there. Yeah. What other reasons we'd want to do a wash? Where else would we do a wash? Maybe you just have something like a pine table and you want to just do the white yeah. wash over it. Get a white wash effect on some wood. Absolutely. Okay, Courtney, you got 67 people tuning in. Hey, 67 people. Um, <laughs> so one thing we do want to make sure we emphasize is whatever direction you paint it in, which should be in the direction of the wood grain, you also want to apply the wash in the same direction. Okay, so, so you originally painted this vertically, yeah, obviously. Yeah, we painted it vertically, so we're going to do the wash vertically as well. Okay. You don't want to be wiping your wash off in a circular motion, I assume. Yeah. You we want like, it to be, uh, I'm guessing, somewhat strategic on here. Right. Okay. So in this section, I'm guessing you're putting it in, putting it on um, sort of in sections instead of yeah. doing the whole side at once. I'm going to do, again, about like a four to five, maybe a six-inch section, and then I'll wipe it off. Now, when you wipe off, obviously you started at the top. Do you recommend sometimes going from bottom to top, yeah. top to bottom? So I usually do both directions so I can get kind of a variegated appearance. And it also, it's a lot smoother looking if I go from top to bottom. And, and actually you just brought up a really good point. Yeah. When you do a wash over the chalk paint, yeah. it will actually break down some of the surface tension and make your surface feel smoother yeah. just, just by the default of right. doing that. Okay. I know there's a way to actually be able to see the comments, but I'm still new at using this little gizmo, so I promise next time we'll be able to do that. Okay. So after today, after we finish today, Courtney, um, you can keep on processing. I'm going to grab my phone. Hopefully you can... There's a little bit of a time lapse, and hopefully you can see me a little bit, but Courtney and I actually came up with a list of about, how many are there, 30? I think there's about 30. Yeah, we have about 30 topics, from chalk paint to milk paint, um, where the demos that we'll be doing will actually be a lot more detailed, mm -hmm. um, and it won't just be one swipe of the wash and we're done. It could be, obviously, doing the drawer, doing the side, doing the front, um, but we're going to be posting our Facebook live schedule after we're done with this video today. Mm -hmm. And also, um, I wish I had my other phone. Can you pull up your phone really quick? And I want to just mention, so if you are interested in being able to tune in live and, um, have access to winning, a lot of times we're going to be giving these free items away and you're interested in that. We have a number that you can actually text the keyword chalk paint to, and then you'll get, um, oh yeah, so <laughs> if you haven't seen my ridiculous, goofy photo, um, but if you text 74121, the keyword chalk paint, um, you will receive like a text message about 10 minutes before we go live. So that way you can, um, if you're available and you can watch the demo, you'll be able to tune in. Cool, that looks good. I love how the wash gives it, it brings it to a whole nother level. In fact, you know what's interesting? This dresser's already spoken for. We yeah. haven't even finished it and I think it's sold. I think so. So, it's kind of funny. We had a woman come in and said that's gonna make the most beautiful dresser for a baby's room. So, hopefully it all goes well. Hopefully. What about the pressure you're using to wipe that off? Any I'm using about the pressure that you would use to apply lotion. Okay. I'm just going to zoom in a little. Sure. So I'm Please check your network settings. Oh my god. Did we just lose? Okay. So let me connect. 
says it's busy. Okay. Yay, you are back. Thanks for texting, letting us know. It says attempting to reconnect. Stream resumed. Okay. Okay, good. Hey, you know welcome what? back. <laughs> I don't know. You think we were like living in a oh third goodness. world country with the way our internet is. It's absolutely ridiculous. So Not tell me again. Tell me again. What are you doing? I'm going to do this little detail here. So. Okay, but let's just start back in the beginning. The, you're Courtney. Oh, right. I'm Trish. <laughs> okay. We're at the Purple Painted Lady, <laughs> yeah. and we are showca we're showcasing how to do a wash yes. using we're Annie Sloan's um, chalk paint. Right. And you mix the chalk paint color Old Violet. In a one-to-one -one ratio with water. With a one-to-one -one ratio with water. Yes. And then you're going to apply it. But I want to just do one thing. Yeah. Um, that image that uh, I think every some people were just asking again, what number do you need to text? Oh, yeah. There we go. It's that 74121. And just text the keyword chalk paint. Okay, so I'm going to get a little closer. Okay. 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 Are you ready? Um, I'm ready. I hope okay. the internet is. <laughs> Hopefully the internet is. This piece is really pretty. It is. A wash is a great way to bring out some architecture in the piece without using a wax. So in here, I'm trying to get all of the paint into the grooves so that when I wipe it off, it's stuck in there and it's you, just pronounced. You know, that's a good point, though. There's yes. always more than one way to achieve, an, to, to achieve a look. Yeah. Personally, I think a wash is, is easier than using a tinted wax. Yeah. Um, but you could tint Annie's clear wax with the old violet directly. Yeah. The chalk paint. You could add, like, just a teaspoon of the chalk paint to a couple dollops of wax and Absolutely. apply it that way. Um, but I think the wash on the larger flat surfaces is is more user friendly. Absolutely. Okay. Will you end up taking that and doing down the front side Absolutely. here? Absolutely. That's what we do right now. Obviously, you want to be really careful not to go over that um, side surface that you already did. So simple, and boy, what an easy way to get a really great look. We always get messages from people saying, can you help me with a color idea? I, you know, I, I sell furniture. If you sell furniture, you should be definitely trying to do some washes. I think you'd really find it's going to make a difference with the, um, I don't know, I guess the presentation and sort of what you're offering in your space. Absolutely. It's also a great way to unify multiple pe um, pieces. You know, we talk about merchandising your, yeah. your area and having some type of... Um, I don't know. Um, Unity to it? Or, or, um, coherence. Coherence. So sure, coherent. you know. So um, that way you could have pieces done solid old violet, solid old white. You could do then something like this, which is just the wash of it. It would look fantastic. Yes. Any other... Words of wisdom. When you get done with that, let's talk about the top and how we, um, sure. like what we did first in oh, order to. Thing. Yeah. yeah. I like it when it's left heavy. I do too. I'm going to leave it right on it. There we go. So, those towels you're using? Yeah, these are the Scott Shop towels. They're the lint free blue um, rags that uh, we use for waxing as well. Um, they just make it really easy to remove a wash. And they're disposable, so. Yeah. And they're great Real for uh, mirrors. I like to work in smaller sections. I think I mentioned that earlier, but I'm going to mention it again. So I like to work in sections for something this long, a uh, section that's maybe five oh. to six inches. Slow oh. internet. Stop and restart the stream. Oh. Kind of pixelated. Okay. Oh, that's kind of better, I think. We'll see. Okay. So let's talk about how did you, what did you do first when you have that kick plate on the back of the dresser? Yeah. What's important to understand if you're going to apply a wash? So we did the kick plate first, and what you want to make sure you do is get underneath, so. and you want to make sure you get underneath all of the edging here. So I really took my brush up at an angle and made sure I got it in there really nicely. And then in the scrolling, I actually ended up blotting it a bit just to make sure that I didn't, wouldn't get any drips coming through it and getting on the top. Okay. 
And then obviously, more time. So what do we want people to do? So you are going to, let's do name and where you're from. Yep. And, and then uh, we'll pick a random winner. Yep. And like I said, um, the um, you want to mention this again? Yeah, sure. So we do have a text line that will actually remind you about any um, upcoming Facebook Lives. You'll get a text about 10 minutes before they start. And the number is um, 74121. And all you have to do is text chalk paint to that number, and you'll be automatically subscribed to all of our texts. Okay. Awesome. Thanks, Court. Happy Monday.